Hello and welcome to Midnight Guard Gaming. I'm your host, Mid, and today we are starting a new game called, well, not really new, but a new game for my channel um, called Phantom Doctrine. Um, so let's just jump to the game here and get it started. Um, yeah, this is a game that came out last summer, I think it was, or fall. I can't remember exactly when. It's, it's a turn-based game. I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Just waiting for it to come up on my screen now. Come on. There we go. I was like, it's not coming up on my screen. Um, it is a turn-based strategy game. Espionage, XCOM-esque. You have a base. It's set in like 1983. It's Cold War era spies. CIA versus KGB. Uh, a little dose of MK Ultra thrown in there and all that it looks everything i've seen looks really freaking cool so um i was glad it was on sale over the holidays on uh, good old games so i picked it up um so um I, yeah i've just watched a couple video games or video games uh, video clips on youtube for like christopher odd a couple of others party elite um seeing how they went like just their intro like maybe first mission or so just to get a feel for it um okay so we're gonna do um Let's look at options first. Oh, that music is a bit loud. Okay, we turn. Let's just turn the master fun uh, just a touch, because it's a little loud. What can I do for you? That you? Well, hello. Well, hello to you. Yep, keep the interface line down. Cinematic. Stop. Gotta drop that music down. That music is super freaking loud. Do the music about half. Okay. Gameplay, what do we got here? Action camera toggles third person perspective view on in select situations on and off. Okay. Um, accelerated movement. Speeds up character animations, reducing wait times. Oh, we might change that. I'll just keep it off for now. Ooh, always run. Okay. Ooh, that might be good. Oh, we'll, we'll keep it as is for right now. Um, let's do the always. Oh, interesting. Off player, everyone. Well, we'll start with off for the time being. This is something we'll definitely go in and probably change some of these later. I just want to go with the basic right now. Always use the shortest path. Ignore agents. Ignore obstacles such as windows to get to the target tile using the least number of action points. <clears throat> I've seen this in some videos and it's kind of funny because they'll just be like jumping through a window and not like freaking everyone out around them. It's really kind of funny. Well, hmm. Encountered at close distance, enemy agents will you be able to see through disguise. Ooh, hell no. Mm -mm. Um, let's see, we got key bindings, graphics, everything's on very high. Awesome. Yep, that's as high as it goes. Uh, video, yeah, we're good on that. Everything looks good on my OBS, so awesome. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the run stuff I might change. We'll see. So, all right, let's save and close. And we are going to start a new game. Um, okay, enable tutorial, in-game tips and intro mission, explain basic gameplay, recommended for first-time players. Yes, we'll be playing that. No, we are not going to play Iron Man mode. I, I'm not a fan of Iron Man mode, because then it's like you make one mix-up or something goes glitchy with the game, and then it's like, oh, my game screwed. Awesome. <coughs> um, subtitles, all, for and off. Oh, let's do all. I like that, because then if uh, you can't hear them talking, you can at least read them in the video. Um, easy. More forgiving experiments, uh, experiments, experience recommended for your first playthrough of Phantom Doctrine. Difficulty level suited for players familiar with mechanics specific to Phantom Doctrine. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just do easy. That's the recommended one. We'll stick with that. Uh, regular, play the standard storyline of Phantom Doctrine. Ooh. Extended. How do we get to play more in-depth version of the story and get to the bottom of things? Well, how do I... I want that. <laughs> okay, guess we'll just play the standard storyline. Um, yeah, all right, next. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so we get to play a CIA or KGB, codenamed Deadpan, and it's elite CIA wet work commando. Unravel a conspiracy set in the middle of war-torn Beirut and beyond. KGB, if I go that one, codenamed Kodiak, hunt traitors of the motherland and a highly decorated as a highly decorated KGB counterintelligence operative. James Carter or Dmitry Kozlov, Tom White. Okay. <laughs> the photo doesn't. It just seems kind of like an odd name for. A, it's, it's like a white guy named something black and a black guy named something white. It just seems weird <laughs> to me when that happens. Um, all right, so we're going to call this, um, we'll do CIA. Uh, we will play a male agent. Let's look through these. Yeah, that's very David Bowie-esque looking there. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, nice mullet, dude. It looks like he's got a mullet. I like his swagger. His yeah. Uh, oh, dude! What? Whoa, whoa, the neck. Hmm. And then we got the twelve-year-old guy playing CIA. <laughs> that could be quite funny. It's like the kid. Looks like he might have like earrings or his ears are mangled. I have no idea. I cannot tell from here. So now we got the lumberjack guy. And, oh yeah, the, the scar down the neck, that's not a dead giveaway that you might be into some illicit stuff. Uh, and then there's like your high school guidance counselor right here. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. This guy's getting ready to go to a Prince concert, I think. Oh nice, the cigarette, that had something. Hey, I'm gonna go down and work on the wharf. Some of these photos are really funny. Oh, the eye patch, yes. Oh, ooh, awkward prom photo. Ah, nice bow tie, dude. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 that's like Silicon Valley 1980s haircut there with the big glasses and the, the red beard. Ooh, yeah, red beard. Eesh. Um, let's see. Let's go with... Yeah, this guy looks like a serial killer. <laughs> uh, and then a uh, guy who lives in his mom's basement. That's awesome. Uh, all right, so let's go back up here. I think I might go with uh, either Lumberjack guy or the, the teenager who's like a wet work commando. <laughs> that could be pretty friggin' funny. Now let's go with the teenage kid. <laughs> this guy looks like he's a teenager. Um, and we're going to call him... Um, let's call him... Um, ah, what do we call him? We're going to call him... Because he's deadpan. We'll, we'll call him... Uh, because he's not a very good agent, we'll call him like... Dean... Pannington. <laughs> so it's sort of a deadpan, to, uh, yeah, dead Dean Pannington. Kind of just did a play off of his name. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Let's just do random. I don't know. Bruce Moore. Bruce Moore. Okay, that's like Bruce Willis. That's kind of cool. We'll go with that one. Um, but if I were going to do that, yeah, not having a kid, though. Got to have like a hard as nails cop looking guy. Ooh, yeah, that's the big old like eyeglasses there, sunglasses, the shades. So I need a, let's go with uh, Bruce Moore, Bruce Moore. Who looks like a Bruce Moore as we go through here? Let's do, uh, 
Oh yeah, here, the guy with the turtleneck. There we go, Bruce Moore. Wet work operative for the CIA. Let's do that, all right. Ooh, yeah, that turtleneck, man, ooh. Okay, so, whoa, okay. We can do the fake, okay. Charlie, Dave, Eugene, Frank. Okay, I wanna get something close to what the guy looks like in the photo. Okay, I need kind of a pasty face white dude. Um, the music's killing me, man. Pre face preset Bob. Okay. So, kind of need a more squared off. That might be kind of looking in it. All right, let's do um, eye color brown. Yeah, pretty nondescript. Uh, we got to kind of make them paler looking. Yeah, that looks kind of close there. Okay. Oh, body type. We can do body type. Oh, skinny. <laughs> hey, he's got a gut. And athletic. Average. Slim. Stocky. <laughs> I like how they say stocky. It's like, no, I'm stocky, apparently. No, I'm, I, I got a gut. That's not stocky. That's a gut. Um, let's just go with uh, average. He's kind of the average looking dude here. Um, all right, so hair. Let's get that hair. Looks like he's got sort of, Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, hey, all right. Bald, okay. Receding hairline, okay. Bald, all right. Trying to get something matching close to what he's got up there. Oh, hey, that's pretty styling, dude. Oh, ah, shaggy. Um, okay, we don't really have... I guess that's about as close as it's going to get parted. Okay. The uh, color looks like it's about right, the color. Let's go with like a darker brown. No, we'll go with the black. All right, we'll do that. Uh, ooh, sideburns and mustache. Of course we got to do that. All right, so we need the the, the big stash with the, the five o'clock shadow going there. All right. Got the goatee, the overgrown soul patch. Okay. Handlebar, soul patch. Uh, it's kind of, not really. Five o'clock shadow. That's, no, that's like a friggin' ten o'clock shadow, dude. That, that is not a five o'clock shadow. That's a full beard almost. Teen stash. <laughs> he has a teen stash. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Side burns a mustache, half goatee. All right, we'll just go with the normal mustache. It looks like. Okay, let's do that. Facial hair. Good. All right. Uh, I think it matches. Yep. Let's do that. Clothes. Jean jacket. Okay. Ooh, ooh leather vest. That's styling. Ooh, ooh yeah. Track suit. Ooh, crass track shoot. Track suit. Got it. Desk jockey. See, I want. Ooh, turtleneck and shirt. Gee, ooh, turtleneck and shirt. Yeah, we're doing turtleneck and shirt, I think. Let's see if there's a turtleneck with anything else. What the heck was up with that? With one rolled up sleeve. Kind of weird. <laughs> Cardigan. Oh. Motorcycle jacket. All right. Ooh, bomber jacket. Shirt sure jacket. Okay. Ooh, polo and leather. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Down best. It's like Back to the Future. Oh, if I do another playthrough and I play KGB, I'm making Marty McFly. <laughs> windbreaker. I wonder if it says CIA across the back, the windbreaker. That'd be hilarious. All right, let's get back to the turtleneck. Okay, so we want like a white... Like a grayish that kind of matches and then we want the white turtleneck yeah that's good okay formal pants um i don't know what his pants are gonna look like so cargos no suit pants pleated duty pants Ooh, leather pants all right tracksuit pants crass okay so i guess formal trousers would go with the turtleneck because i think they're matching up kind of 
Loose fit jeans. Chinos. Formal pants. Yeah, let's go back to the uh, formal trousers. Um, let's do... Um, too dark. I have no idea how what would match and look good. So that looks kind of weird. Um, sure, let's do that. I don't know. No gloves. Ooh. Oh, can we have fingerless gloves. Fingerless leather gloves. Ooh, tactical fingerless. Ooh, yeah, leather gloves. Yeah. All right. Tactical gloves. Motorcycle gloves. There you go. That's pure '80s right there, man. No gloves. Um, yeah, let's just do no gloves. My guy looks like he's a professor anyway, so. Uh, shoes. Uh, hikers. Sneakers. Oxfords. Let's do tall boots. Derbies can't tell what the tall boots. Loafers. Glossy loafers. Biker boots. Runners. Well, that could be good in my wet work of running around. Trainers. Hikers. Sneakers. Let's do the Oxfords. Ooh, I can have white Oxfords. Styling. Uh, let's do... Let's do... Uh, yeah, th that'll work. Let's do that. I don't know what color that is. It's like a brownish red ox blood. I don't know. Uh, okay, headgear. I gotta have glasses, man. I gotta have glasses. Ooh, a hat. I can have a hat. Oh. Yeah, military beret. There we go. Oh, and I can look around it. Okay. All right. Felt fedora. A hooligan cap. All right. Thick beanie. All right. Baseball cap. A toque. Beanie hat. Tr <laughs> Military cap. Tall fedora. Cop hat. Bandana. Whoa, pumpkin head. Okay, that was interesting. I could be a pumpkin headed guy. I mean, it did have, like, some DLC I got when I, when I bought it, where it was, like, scary Halloween stuff or something, so I was like, okay, interesting. Yeah, we'll do none. I do have to have glasses, though. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get some glasses that look similar. Ooh, there yeah. Yeah, that's, like, ooh, that's 1980s, definitely. I unfortunately had really crappy glasses like these back when I was little, back in the 80s, so. Oh, ah, all right. Tortoise shell. Oct octagonal. Octagonal. Um, oh, you can have an eye patch. Awesome. What the? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I just want, like, regular glasses like it shows up here in my photo. Um, I guess we could do that and change the colors to, like, a dark color. Oh. It's the tint. Okay. Um, ooh, interesting. Um, orange. Okay. Let's go with, uh, I think that might be... Okay, the, the aviators, I guess, is going to be the, probably the best one. Yeah, I can darken the frame, so that's kind of good. We'll do the darkened frame aviators with the uh, red. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll just keep them normal. He just has normal aviators. Prescription glasses like me, so there we go. We'll just do that. All right. Attachments. What do we have here? Ooh, a cigar. All right. A Get the hell out. You can have a pipe. Cigarette. Because everyone smoked back then earpiece. Oh, hey, yeah, because nothing says undercover like an earpiece. Schmog. I'm tempted to have the pipe. That pipe is pretty styling, man. I mean, my guy looks like a professor anyway, so Bruce Moore, dead, the codename Dead Man. All right, let's do that. Um, yeah, he's got to have the pipe. It just looks hilarious. Okay. Ooh, I can have scars. All right. Uh, no... Whip smack? What the heck is a whip smack? Oh, that's a whip smack. I was like, what is a whip smack? Turf war. Okay. Broken nose. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do none. My guy's like an academic guy. Like he's, he's got a turtleneck, nice aviator glasses, a pipe, nicely parted hair. He's well-groomed. 
so. Ooh, tattoos and makeup. Skull deck. Okay, I can't see where these are, so I have no idea. Bird of prey, a rose, mermaid, and okay. I have no clue what these are. Whoa! Base ones. All right. Okay. A vampire. Yeah, nothing says incognito, like dressing up like a zombie. Okay, none. We're just going to do none. That's good. All right. Let's start game. <coughs> So that was uh, 20 minutes of goofiness making my character, so all right. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. The events you are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date that they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. This is so, like, noir, spy-like. The CS Marquis. Marquis. Ooh, submarine. All right. Oh, some covert stuff going on there with that emblem on there. This is Golf Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. The Brits. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror, Narushal Radio Malchani. Что? Показать расшифровку. А быстрее! Немедленно послать в Москву! Немедленно! Немедленно! We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. <laughs> Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. Good call there, buckaroo. <laughs> First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Whoa. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. Very it was super a simple ask. plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Oh, okay. Traitors. Now, now, don't the shout. Initiative. It's bad for your heart. Whoa, look at those outfits. Whew, that is so 1980s. Oh, heart, heart attack dart. Oh, look at that computer. Hoo -hoo. Okay, that's the evil villain organization, I think. Tutorial, Operation Threshold, Beholder Initiative, Covert Ops. Urgent top secret briefing high value cargo hijacked by British King uh, Agent Kingfish to redeploy in UK run recovery ops. Phase phase one enter British sector in FRG. I don't know what that means. Uh what FRG means. Collect necessary forms for from security uh secured location, activate sleeper asset rook, further orders to be disclosed in due course, handler of Valhalla. Uh okay, we're in East Berlin. Huh? Primary objectives are reach the sleeper agent and activate his control phase, steal shipping manifests, evacuate to the other side of the border. Okay, interesting. There's tips down here. You stealth to get your, ob get your objectives without exposing your squad or to unnecessary danger. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's see what happens here. I might have to move my camera around. I have no idea if I'm going to be in a good spot here. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Let me get my papers for you right here. Oh! That would be a gun to the head. Okay, all right. Well... Yeah, this guy looks like Walter White from Breaking Bad. Yeah, this is not my character. It doesn't look like him, so... You know, then again, we're playing the tutorial and we're working for the Beholder Initiative. The locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with it? Who could forget that handsome face? Um, okay, so I have to turn up the... audio on the voice. Need anything? Let's do that because I was having trouble hearing them. So, all right, let's save and close. Um, resume. Um, 
I gotta figure out where would be a good spot for my camera, my face cam. Hold on here, one sec. Okay, okay, we're gonna be. Right, let me get to a menu so I can actually get off my screen. Um, let's do. All right, so the audio is gonna go up for the game here real quick because I need to. Hey, look, there we go. All right, let's just move me over here. Maybe put me in this corner. That might actually work good. And let's just try that for right now. Okay, let's see if that works. I, I don't know if anything's going to be down in this corner here where I'm at, so I don't want to be up in these upper corners because it looks like that's useful information. It looks like my people are going to end up here that I have control, so... And there's stuff in the center. Oh, there's stuff down here along the bottom that's all grayed out. So, yeah, I don't really... I could probably move over slightly. We'll see. Um, I could be fine over here, too. I don't know. Uh, we'll just play it by ear um, once you get moving and see what happens. Um, okay. An infiltration stage. Guards will only react if you do something suspicious. Okay. So walking around with my AK-47 is suspicious, but I think I don't have that out at the moment. So that's good. Um, move to the indicated position with the right mouse button. You're safe for now. Okay. So... Um... So, okay, so it looks like I can use WASD to move the map, or it does, goes off the mouse, go into the corners of the screen here. So, okay, who's this dude? He's got 35 health, I think, or hit points. Um, don't know what any of this stuff means. I'm sure they're going to explain it. All right, so let's go here. Um, position with the right mouse button. All right, there we go. All right, I'm walking. So yeah, I'm gonna probably turn on run after the tutorial. Okay, here we go. Most action uh, most actions cost action points AP. Okay, so that's the little triangle, blue triangle. Some actions, especially combat related, can also cost fire points. Okay, FP. All right, so I have two action points and one fire point. Phantom Doctrine is a turn-based game, so when all your agents' points are depleted, end your turn. All right, continue. Uh, move, movement uses up action points and turn. Okay. So... Alright, and turn. Enemy activity. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to speed this up before the end of the tutorial, I think. Let's just do that now, because that's going to take forever to get through stuff. Um, everyone, always run. Okay, save and close. Zoom. Uh, be careful, be extra careful when entering a restricted area, red zones. If the guard sees you, he, he'll call an alarm. Okay. So the red is a restricted. Okay, so let's just go there. Yep, I'm ready. Cool. Uh, skip the rest of this turn and the guard will continue his patrol. Hint, move the cursor over a character to pre preview their patrol path. Oh! Oh! Okay, I can scroll in and out. Okay. Right, so he's gonna just keep going down to here. Uh, what's this dude doing? He's just standing here. Okay. Uh, all right, let's enter. Who is this agent deadpan your file spoke about? Ah, talking about me. CIA washout could be dangerous. Yeah. I sincerely doubt that. Okay, Kingfish is like Walter White, but working for like some secret evil bad guy organization, not the KGB. Uh, when in restricted area, move with caution. Use QE to rotate the camera for convenience. Oh, alright. That's cool. Get further out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to get close in so I can see inside. Ooh, okay, that, that means something, I'm assuming, because it's glowing. Um, Alright, so he is looking that way. I thought I shot him, so, okay, never mind. We're gonna go here. Okay, there's a camera. Okay. That's where the camera is. Okay, so let's go here. I'm trespassing. Oh, no. Avoid cameras. They will be triggered if the uh, uh, trigger the alarm if you cross their cone of vision. Cameras can be disabled if you find a CCTV central unit, which is this. Okay, good to know. Um. Oh, um, do I have movement left? Um. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I have the left mouse button to utilize this. Okay. Deal with the security quietly. Okay. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle myself. <laughs> End turn. Okay. Enemy activity. Yeah. Okay, so that looks like the enemy activity thing is showing how many, like, you can get kind of a basic indicator of how many people there are. It looks like there's probably, like, two guards, the one who's patrolling here and one elsewhere. Um, okay, enter the main building. All right, so let's go out here then. All right. Hopefully I'm not going to run out and see a bad guy here waiting for me. Enter the main building. Okay, so... Just go where they want me. They tell me to go because I have no idea what's going on. Found our puppet. Give him the control phrase. Oh, enemy agent located. This one is our sleeper agent. Use the control phase from the abilities menu. Oh, okay, abilities menu. Uh, control phase. Take control over an enemy agent subjected to mind con uh, to control phrase. Oh, cool. Agent Rook. Um, okay, so let's do that. There's other things. Ooh, distract, take down, pick up agent, stabilize, and focus. Okay, all right, so let's do confirm. A secret. <laughs> okay. It's a Russian mumble. A sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere. Go up the stairs, use mouse wheel to change floors, uh, then select the target tile. Okay. So he's a guard. Okay, that's cool. So we have a Rook now. And he is a guard. Alright, so we can go upstairs. Use the mouse wheel to change floors. Oh, okay. So that's... Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, he's gonna go upstairs here. Boom. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Guards can be taken down silently. Okay. Silently incapac incapacitate the target non-lethal against civilians. Okay. West German Customs. Um, Alright, confirm. Let's do this. Uh, oh, okay. Knocked him out. Butt stroke to the head. All characters have a certain level of awareness. It is used by select it is used by select actions, e.g. takedown. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn and it can be raised by abilities and items. Okay. Um yeah, I guess we're ending turn because it says to. Uh, use spotter support to lift fog of war and reveal enemies and civilians inside the indicated rooms. Note that support agents operate from a specific direction and must have line of sight slash fire to the target to be effective. Okay, let's do support. I got 20 support. Um, fog of war revealed. Okay, costs one. It's on a one turn cooldown, one command point. And I have 20 command points, it looks like. Um, all right, so let's do that. Okay, selected the area and then confirm. Oh, cool. And to be agent. Things in documents, but we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry. I'll clean the mess after you. Okay, thanks, Valhalla. Um, place your agents at the door to prepare for breach attack. Okay. Um I'm gonna go there. Waiting on you. Okay, we gotta get Walter White up here. Okay, let's get him up here. Gotta go up a level. He's gonna pull out his AK-47. Select the breach abilities. Uh, select the breach ability. Select the marked room for attack and confirm. Breach confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Ooh, -hoo, interesting. Let's kind of rotate this so I can kind of see this a little bit better when we mow these guys down. Um, okay, so... Breach. Uh, nearby agents move to into the designated area and shoot any encountered hostiles. Suppressed, suppresses enemy overwatch. Requires at least two agents with firing capacity. Right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. Um, can I... Um, I don't have a target lock. I want a target lock. Whoop! Back out of this. I, how do I back out of this?
Okay, I'm right clicking on these guys, but okay, I guess I can't do anything like that. All right, so let's just confirm and go. Um, so it's going to take uh, three ammo and a fire point, and each of my guys has a fire point, so let's do it. Whoa, okay. Oh, Rook took some damage. All right. Note that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers the alarm and starts combat. End turn. Oh, no, Rook just said action points. Okay, he wasn't hurt. Alarm raised and unsuppressed gun has been fired. Okay, okay, so we're getting multiple guys are moving around here someplace. Grab the documents from the safe. Okay, uh, Kingfish, go do that. Call the evac. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Copy. Over and out. Okay. I need to turn the music down a little bit more because it's still going over their voices. Yeah, that's better. I don't really want that overpowering the voices too much. <clears throat> and I, I did turn up their voices. Yeah, voice volume's maxed. Okay. All right. Um, okay, we gotta get to... Where's my evac? Call for evac. Uh, evacuation. Oh, okay. Summon the evacuation vehicle to the selected evac zone. Round until evac arrives two. Uh, rounds until it arrives. Two turns. Um, how do we get there? That's what... Um, let's... How do I back out of this? Um, is that the only evac zone? Okay. Can I... I... Okay, once you're in a menu, how do you get out of it? That's what I'm kind of curious about. But hey, I, I'm in the tutorial, so I guess that's the thing. Exfil incoming. Okay, I guess we have two turns to run like hell and get there. Um, oh, I can jump out the window. Awesome. Okay, we got cover. All right, let's just go over here. Oh, Overwatch. Okay. Um, no. Uh, oh, okay. I have to go back. Okay. How, how do I back out of stuff? It's not letting me X out of things. Um, um, floor up, floor down, options. Um, okay, I guess I'm overwatching here. Um, I didn't mean to do this, but I don't know how to get out of this. It's, escape doesn't do it. Um, I can't X out of it. Okay, I guess, well, we're just going to do that. I'm overwatched. Got it. All right, you move here. Okay, set up overwatch outside. Note that the long range overwatch has a conical shape conical area of effect as opposed to circular short range overwatch okay Ooh, he has an m16 all right overwatch um oh wow okay okay that's where it's saying set the overwatch you okay and turn Oh, I hear people running. Oh! Just shot that dude dead. Oh, okay. Shot that dude dead too. Oh, that is some excessive blood. Wow, okay. Jump out the window and take cover. Cover reduces incoming damage. Okay. Do that. Okay, he headbutted the glass to get through. Uh, for one fire point and one action point, you can use the full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. Okay, let's do that. Um, full auto attack. Okay, confirm. Okay, damage versus awareness. Phantom Doctrine on you. has no random chance to hit, but attacks can deal varying amounts of damage. Presented as follows. Maximum damage, minimum damage. Okay. So 84, 54. Okay. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks provided they aren't at point blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A dodged attack deals minimum damage. 
else, uh, else maximum damage. Okay, damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. Uh, note, in infiltration and at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always at zero except for enemy agents who start with full awareness. Okay, good to know. Uh, move to the ground level and hide behind a full cover. Note, full cover provides better protection than half cover. Well, that just seems like common sense, but okay. All right, headbutt that glass and... Oh, he did like a flip through it. Awesome. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. Um, okay. What am I doing? Okay, there's a guy here. Um, fire at the selected enemy with a devastating headshot that ignores cover protection, costs awareness. Okay, we're going to shoot at this dude and... Pull up my little snub nose revolver. Take him out from long range with a snub, snub nose revolver. Go figure. Alright, and turn. Yeah, I'm probably going to move my camera back. Oh, cool. Let's see. Get to the van. When the evac compromise timer elapses, you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Note, however, that is that it does not affect mission success or failure. Okay, interesting. Um, um, one second. I'm going to move my camera back over to the other side, I think. Um, let's do this. I think I can put it right... Should be okay, right in this area. And I can still see if I get, like, four agents, because I think that's the maximum you deal with. All right, let's do that. See if that works. All right, so is this... Okay, I'm kind of covering up some of the action marks. That kind of sucks. Get off the screen here. Hard to kind of see. Okay, you can kind of see where. Okay, it's not too bad. So that's the last button. So if I move slightly over, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, all the little things I did not take care of before I started playing. So hey, this is what we have to deal with. Um, all right, so that should fix that. Fix that. Much better. Okay, you can see the button here. So that's the farthest to the, the left button. So, all right, cool. Um, all right, so let's get guys into the uh, EVAC zone. All right, Kingfish, Mission get in there. objective complete. Rook, jump off there. Yell ninja like. Woo hoo, little backflip. Squat run, squat run. Evacuate now. All right, here we go. Evacuate all friendly agents present on the selected EVAC zone. Confirm. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the, tutor the tutorial. All right. Okay, so. This will be a good place to end this episode. We'll pick up and start the actual campaign in the next one. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get all sorts of like voice acting going here at the moment. Okay, good. Nah. All right, so I'm going to end this here, and uh, we will pick this up in the next episode and start the actual campaign. So, yeah, that was good. Good first episode. Get my... My goofy looking professor dude, Bruce Moore. Mild mannered college professor by day with a pipe and CIA wet work commando by night. <laughs> so, all right, I'll catch you again next time for more Phantom Doctrine. See you soon. Bye.